Learn how to send an email from your Flutter app by launching the native email client of your device. So as a programmer, you can set the email subject message and also the recipient, while the user can still decide if he wants to send this email or not. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating three simple text fields and also buttons so that we can send our email. For each of our text fields, we create a text editing controller so that we can later access the value of this text field. Let's now use this controller to build our text field. Therefore, we go to our build method and here we create then a text field with exactly this controller that we have set up here within our state. And now inside of this build text field method, we create then a column so that we can display multiple widgets under each other. We create a simple text widget, which displays then the title that we have put here inside. So in this case, a text two. And secondly, under it, we want to display then our text field. And here we put then the controller inside that we have before specified here at the top. And now if I hot reload, we have here our first text field, like you can see. And if you like, you can also add here a border around your text field. Therefore, you simply go here inside and then you add here this decoration to this outline input border. And now if I hot reload, you see we have here this border around our text field. Next, we simply need to duplicate our text field and also create here the subject text field and the message text field, whereas our message text field has here multiple lines. Therefore, let's go here up to our build method and to our column. And here we display right now our first text field. However, we can also add here our second and third text field. And we simply change here then every time the title. And I also pass here then a different controller inside. So we simply take here the controllers that we have created here at the top. And lastly, for the last field, we also want to include here this max lines property. Therefore, let's go here to our text field and also include the max lines inside of our text field. And with this, our message text field has here then more lines like you can see. So you can basically type here more lines inside. And finally, we want to send our email with this URL launcher package so that we can open up the native email client to send then this email that we have filled in our Flutter app. Therefore, let's go back to our build method where we have created before the three text fields and under it, we want to create then our elevated button. And I also want to give it here some style so that our button looks better. And now if we click here on the send button, then we want to launch our email client on our device. And therefore I create a new method launch email. And here inside I put then all the texts from our controller inside. So we access here then the text of our first text field and put it here inside. We also access here the text of our second text field and also of our third text field. And based on these three texts from our text fields, we want to create and launch then our email. And therefore I create here a new method where I basically create first of all a URL. So you want to create here this mail to URL, which is standard for all platforms. And here you can then put first of all your email inside, which is our recipient. And secondly, you need to put here the subject inside and make sure that it is encoded. And lastly, put here your message inside and also make sure that it is encoded. So all in all, this here is a special statement which we want to send to the operating system of our phone. And our phone understands this and opens up the email program. And therefore, you can simply call here this launch method from this launcher package, which I have showed you before. And to make use of it, also make sure to go to your pubspec jaml file and here under your dependencies, you need to include this URL launcher. And lastly, you can test it out. So you can supply here your two emails. So you can put here one email inside or also comma separated. You can put here multiple emails inside, then your subject and your message. And lastly, you click then on the send button and this will then open here up this email client of your native phone device. And like you can see, the two client, our recipients is filled, the subject is filled and also the message. And now the user can then decide to also click here at the top to send them the message. So you don't have any control over it anymore. However, the user has then full control if he wants to send this message or not. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.